Well, hello everyone. Cloud Chief here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over the Dot Hack series before I start my Let's Play of the Dot Hack games, because the Dot Hack series is huge in you know its whole universe. Before the games. Because there were four games for the PlayStation 2 in the first series. Because there's actually a set of PlayStation 2 games that take place later. But out of the first four games, before the games even take place, there's a whole 26-episode anime series that happens right before the games start. So going into the games, there's information that you should know that will help you understand the whole universe better. So, because of that, I wanted to kind of give a breakdown of the whole anime series real quick. Now, considering I'm about to summarize a 26-episode anime series, there is going to be lots of spoilers. So, if you don't want to know spoilers and you want to check out Dot Hack Sign for yourself, then you should stop this video now and go watch Dot Hack Sign. For me, I love Dot Hack Sign. It's a great story, very in depth, uh, great character development. Now, if you're someone who's going into it wanting a lot of action, it, Dot Hack isn't a real like action heavy anime series. There is action, but it's mostly focused on character development, story, and then the music. The music in it is amazing. So, without further ado, We'll go into uh, Dot Hack Sign. Remember, spoilers, so shut off the video now if you don't want to know. If not, enjoy. Warning. Warning. You mean to tell me you can't log out? Looks that way. I've never heard of something like that. Maybe it was something you did. Did you... Did you do something to anger the Crimson Knights? What do you mean? Like cheating or something? Mm -hmm. I guess. I can't remember. There's no way. I haven't. You don't need to believe me, but I really... I can't remember. I can't remember at all. I see. Hmm... Well, I guess in the worst case, you can log out just by resetting your terminal. <clears throat> oh, strange. This can't be... I just hope Sakasa's not in some kind of trouble. Hmm. From my point of view, I'm concerned about him not being able to log out of the world. However, that would be... Impossible. Did you see today's board? Uh, no, I, I... I didn't see it. You realize you need to log out to be able to look at the board. Uh, well, who cares about that stuff anyway? So, what sort of music do you listen to when you're in front of your terminal? <sighs> or maybe you're... can't be. That's right. I am not sitting in front of a computer terminal. wonders. This is my world, you see. Where am I? Where am I really? I'm not in front of a terminal. I exist here. I'm in the world. But I, I don't know about the me that's here. Is this the real me? There's no way for me to get out of here. Even if I die, I regenerate. I can't run away from here. I can't even die if I try. Don't say that. I guess I just sort of exist in this place. Not being able to return from the world. Detained and kept prisoner here, but somehow free, I suppose. The soul of Harold Horwick tried to give birth to a girl named Aura in this game. He tried to give her life in the world as the fruit of his unfulfilled feelings. But there's someone else out there who's trying to warp those feelings and using Tsukasa to do it. 
I'm not sure what kind of magic was employed by the being that is trying to give birth to this black aura. It's unlike anything ever used by a player in the game before. I don't know for certain, but it seems Sukasa was being used as a tool for that purpose. We know there is someone out there who's trying to warp Harold's feelings. The one who is trying to use Sukasa for that purpose, that is the real enemy. We have to stop it, and if we can, then we can help give birth to the correct aura. Well, now that's decided. Yeah, we're gonna take on the final boss! What is it? If Harold is a being that is everywhere but not anywhere, then I think that our new enemy, it's safe to assume, is also the same. A remnant that floats in the network and isn't anchored to any one specific location. Oh, great. Another ghost. And if someone is trying to use Sukasa as a tool to give birth to the warped aura... I get it. If that's true, then Sukasa should also... He should also be able to wake up Aura as Harold wanted. Hey, about six months ago... When Sukasa could no longer log out, that was the turning point. I think in the beginning that our unknown enemy was trying to reconstruct Sukasa's data and create something like a clone. That's why Bear said there were copies. Hmm. Once it realized that things weren't going according to plan, it brought the original inside the game and tried to achieve its goal in a different way. But why was Sukasa chosen? The answer to that lies within Sukasa himself. And what would your wish be, old lady? To give Sukasa deep, deep, deep despair. This is good. Sukasa knows nothing. The higher up it is dropped, the worse the crash will be. Hope is the best spice to bring out despair. With what we know now, I believe it is impossible to oppose it and win. What do you mean? To stop the intentions of an omnipresent entity, to defeat that is indeed a daunting goal. To give birth to Aura in a normal form, that's the objective. Aura is believed to be directly linked with Sukasa. When Sukasa is positive, she grows in the desired normal direction. But when Sukasa is negative, that growth is changed and warped. So, the goal of the enemy is to give birth to a warped aura. Wrong. Wrong? You see, the enemy has never had the intention of giving birth to aura at all. So if Tsukasa remains negative, then the enemy's goal is achieved? Is that the answer? Most likely. The cause and the effect is exactly the opposite of what we originally thought. It's not that Tsukasa will be able to log out when Aura is born. It's vice versa. When Tsukasa is finally able to log out, that's when Aura will awaken. Correct. So now I'm going to return. Return to that place where I belong. <laughs> Well, that whole drama was mildly interesting. 
But everyone's waiting for you over at Netslum. Now take the little girl and run along. Sora, what are you saying? Just go on ahead, you guys. You do have that kind of power, right? Are you coming too, Sora? Of course, I'll be right behind you. Come on, what do you say, Tsukasa? Let's be friends. <laughs> too bad for you, old lady, but I've betrayed you now too. Have thoughts, fool. The way you behave, it's really suspicious. Besides, I don't want to be friends with you anyway. I see. So anyway, see you around. What the? You'll learn that I don't take betrayal lightly, Sora. I will now teach you that there is something far worse than death. No! Oh, don't! Stop! Okay. You will go after all. This is great news. You're all okay. Is this Ara? This child is the key of the twilight? I'm not sure. But she's here, with us. And awake. Be on your guard. Something's coming our way. Where are Shukasa and Aura? Mm -hmm. They're here with us, and Aura's been awakened. There's a strange data stream heading for your location. I'm trying to delete it, but I don't think I can handle it. I can see it, but what is it? It must be the enemy. Is this something we can fight? Unknown. So we will take extreme measures. Interesting. What can you do? I will abandon that field. <gasps> and that sums up what you need to know about Dot Hack Sign the Anime going into the Dot Hack games. Be sure to check out my Let's Play of Dot Hack Infection and the rest of the games as we go along. I hope you enjoy the videos, and may you have success in all you do.